The building is iconic. It is a real statement building. It's the first public building com commissioned from uh, Zaha Hadid to open. And it itself will attract international tourists to the city of Glasgow. Tourism is a major part of our increasingly diversified economy. This magnificent transport museum is the latest fruits of that vision and the investment that we are making. But it's also of international significance. What's going to be special about this museum is the whole range of transport that we have on display. Things our visitors really wanted to do at the old museum, but was difficult to provide them, was access onto our trams and up to our locomotives. Um, we've been able to build platforms which provide access to all the locomotives and disabled access as well, so the small lifts. It is free. The collection which is in here is of international standard. It's not only greatly loved, but it is of great significance. So it's high quality collection within here. For example, we have locomotives and a hanging velodrome and a wall of old cars. There, there's so much here. People will come here because it's on the River Clyde. It's in a beautiful location because it is a magnificent building. And we have an unparalleled collection of model ships in Glasgow's collection which will be on display. And we also have the Glen Lee outside the Riverside Museum which will add to the overall attraction of this area. It connects Glasgow to the city's maritime history and perhaps to her maritime future. This was one of the great maritime cities of the world. This ship was built on the Clyde, so it's very important in that way. The ship is also the only cultural object which Glasgow has the only example of in the whole United Kingdom. There's only one of these big ships in the United Kingdom and we've got her. The move to Riverside is very important for the tall ship. It puts the ship alongside the Museum of Transport, which tells the whole story of transport in Glasgow. And the Glen Lee is very much part of that story. What the visitors will see when they come on board is a 19th century bulk cargo vessel, pretty much as she was when she traded between 1897 and 1919. You can see what it was like to work these ships. The wind is blowing 50 knots. The ship is rolling through 60 degrees. There's water crashing across the deck. And uh, then you can come down to the cargo cinema and see actual footage of actual ships sailing in such conditions. It's something which sticks in the mind for long afterwards. The recreation of old streetscapes within Glasgow, which is absolutely fascinating. And you can go into the shops, the old cafes and pawn shops and bars, you know, so it's, it's very interactive, as is an awful lot of the collection which is here. The museum's going to open on the 21st of June at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we'll expect you all there. It is an example of Glasgow having a vision for the future and this magnificent building with this world-class collection is the latest example of that.